Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna compare five of the most popular HPS bulbs in the industry today. The bulbs we'll be comparing are Ushio, Digilux, Yield Lab, Sunmaster, and Hortilux. We're gonna compare their build quality, par reading, and prices. There's a big reason why we're measuring par over lumens, which I'll explain later in the video. But first, let's take a brief look at their build quality. Straight from the build quality, we don't notice much difference. The one thing that's surprising to us is that the Hortilux glass actually has the most imperfections compared to other bulbs. But besides that, none of these look like they're made with superior components or manufactured significantly better than the other. To test the effectiveness of each bulb, we kept all the variables constant. We used a quantum 1000 watt digital dimming ballast for all the bulbs and a standard air cooled hood reflector in the same 4x4 grill tent. Each bulb was given 20 minutes to warm up to reach operating temperature and intensity. Now side by side, there's really no deciphering difference to the human eye. Using the sun system par meter, we'll be testing the actual light output for each of these five bulbs. This test will allow us to measure the photosynthetic active radiation, commonly acronymed as PAR. Now the reason why we're looking at the PAR measurements over lux or lumens is because lumens is a measurement of light that's visible to the human eye. The unit of lumens was actually originally created to measure the brightness of street lights, which is not a good measurement for grow lights, period. PAR, on the other hand, measures the exact spectrum of light that plants use to photosynthesize. In detail, the PAR meter measures the specific spectrum 400 to 700 nanometers, which encompasses red, blue, ultraviolet, and infrared, while lumens does not measure infrared or UV. Whew. So now that you know why PAR is a better measurement for grow lights, let's get testing. We made a 24 by 24 inch grid on the ground and placed nine evenly distanced points directly under the center of the light. We placed a PAR meter on the ground and put the bulb at three different heights, 15 inches, 27 inches, and 51 inches for each of the five lights. We took meticulous effort to take equal readings for each of the lights. If you want to see an uncut video of how we took the readings, we included that at the end. Warning, it's really boring to watch, which is why we included it at the end. Before we show you guys the results, we got to ask, who do you think won? All right, drum roll. Here are the results. Not surprisingly, the Hortilex light won best in performance by a 10% margin. After all, it is made in the USA and is known to be of high quality. But what was surprising was that the Yield Lab, an up and coming brand, won best value. It's the second best performing HPS grow bulb that edged just above Ushio and Digilux while being significantly less expensive. That's impressive. We actually included a six bulb in the test but it did so bad compared to the other bulbs that we didn't share it in our video. If you want to know which bulb did the worst, we include that in our in-depth blog that you can find down below in the description, so check it out. If this comparison video was helpful, like the video. If you want to see more of these test videos, write a comment below and tell us what you want to see next. I'll see you next time, bye. Three seventy seven. 